morning comments. Welcome to 8 a.m. Your daily newscast of world, national, and local news. We also have sports, entertainment, your daily weather outlook, and campus events. I'm your host, Cesar Carball. It's election day. Eve and last minute campaigning continues. President Biden is scheduled to visit Prince George Co County today in a rally for Maryland Democrats. He'll attend an event at Bowie Univer State University. L the latest polls show Democratic candidate Governor Wes Moore has significant lead over Republican nominee for governor, Delegate Dan Cox. State election officials say 18% of registered Maryland voters have cast ballots by mail or through in-person early voting. Apple is warning that the shipments of iPhones from China will be disrupted. It's because the strict COVID-19 rules in place assembly plant that makes iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone Pro Max, the, employee, the plant employs around 200,000 people and have many workers that have fled in face of stringent virus protocols. More than 40% of respondents in a new poll says that they're worse off financially than they were two years ago. ABC News Washington Post survey shows that, that the number has doubled since President Biden took office. 43% said their family's financial situation worsened, and third, while 39% said it has remained the same. A group of attorney generals, including Iowa AG Tom Miller, have reached a settlement with CVS and Walgreens to address the opioid crisis. The companies are giving a combined $10.7 billion to state and local government nationally over 15 years to present the abuse of drugs. The settlement is the first between AG's office and pharmacy chains. Negotiations are still ongoing to settle more of the deal's details. The latest survey of Iowa registered voters show that mo more say that they favor Republican candidates for Congress than Democratic can candidates. Iowa's four congressional seats are currently held by three Republican and one Democrat. If the latest, uh, if the latest Des Moines Register and polls holds true on Election Day, it will flip the third congressional district, which covers Des Moines and much of Southwest Iowa. That race between Democratic candidate Cindy Axe and Republican Zach. The Iowa poll shows Repub Republican Charles Grassley with a larger lead against Democratic Mike Franken in the, in the U.S. Senate. The Republican Kim Reynolds ahead of Democratic DeGere in the governor's race. When we come back, we'll have your sports news, entertainment, and your weather outlook. Stay with us. Come back. I've been deployed overseas six times with multiple combat tours. I have had a bounty placed on my head by insurgent forces. I haven't missed a day, a beat, in my career. I haven't been in the hospital since the day I was born. Only one thing has been able to take me down, COVID. And now I've done my part to take COVID down, getting the vaccine. Watch us on WIT AM and This Week on Campus. News by students, for students. We report daily news that is relevant to you. Students can count on WIT AM Monday through Thursday for your morning news and This Week on Campus every Friday. My name is Tosin Hikioya and I will keep you up to date on weekly campus events and information. Check us out on youtube.com slash WITTV and around campus so you never miss out on the latest events and information. Welcome back. The Timberwolves led for all time for all of the final three quarters of their 129th and 117th win over Houston Rockets at the Target Center on Saturday. 
The Wolves led by as many as 24 points in the second half. Seven players scored with their double digits with Carl Anthony Towns leading the way with 25 points. Minnesota improves to 5-5. Five and five. The Wolves host the Knicks tonight. Black Adam is once again on top of the box office charts. This is the third weekend in a row with Dwayne Johnson. Superhero flick has topped the North American ticket sales. The film has brought in $18.5 million, bringing its domestic total to over $137 million. In second place was an anime film, One Piece, Red, with nearly 9.5 million sales, with Julia Roberts and George Clooney rom-com Ticket to Paradise finishing third with 8.5 million rounding off at the top five were scary was the scary pair smile and pray for the devil respectively it's a quiet period before marvel's highly anticipated black panther black panther wakanda forever premieres november 11th the national park service is warning outdoor enthusiasts not to lick the sandorian desert toad the large amphibians are found across the American Southwest and secrete a potent toxin from its glands behind their eyes. While smoking the poison can cause psychedelic effects, ingesting it directly can make humans sick or even be enough to kill them. A fully grown dog, according to the Oakland Zoo, the toads can grow up to seven inches in length and are identified by their distinctive call, which, call, which sounds like a ferry boat whistle. NPS posted the warning to their Facebook page last week saying with their most with most things you come across in the national park whether it be a banana slug or unfamiliar mushroom or a large toad with glowing eyes in the dead of the night please refrain from licking now taking a look at today's weather today will be mostly sunny with a high near 53 tonight we'll be seeing increasing clouds with a low of 40 and tomorrow we'll see a cloudy day with a chance of showers and a high near 60. Today on campus in the Cargill Auditorium from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., there will be a showing of the women of the White Buffalo film showing. Stop by. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to check up on our latest Foot TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. Enjoy the rest of your day. Dude, I butchered that.